Okay, so that is everything that we need to define under the portal customization. And of course, we need to make sure that simple password is checked and our password, our guest password is Cisco123. That'll be set for eight hours. Okay, so with all that completed, let's go ahead and apply those changes. And after that, let's go to our device, which will start to be provisioned. And let's wait until that completes before we test this out. Okay, our AP is reconnected back to our controller. So now let's go ahead and change our display and connect to my iPad and then connect to the guest network and see what happens. We are now connected to my iPad device. So let's go ahead and connect to the guest network. So I'll go to settings and under Wi-Fi, we'll go ahead and select the guest network and our list here at the bottom. Okay, great. We are connecting to the guest network and you see that we were automatically redirected to a portal page and here we are. So this should happen automatically. If not, like I said, you may need to open up a web page and then you will see a very similar page. So as you can tell, this mirrors what we saw on the actual Unify controller page. So it says, welcome to our guest wireless solution. Again, I have English and French enabled. So if I click on the little French flag over there, then it will present everything in French. Let's go back to English. So of course we can also view the terms of use, which is a required field before we can even type in the password and then connect. If I click on the terms of service, then that is the actual text that will be presented for us to view. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept the terms of use and let's type in the password that we specify, which is Cisco123 and let's say connect. And now you see that we are redirected to our promotional URL, our business website. So now once we're done, we can now go ahead and access the internet normally. So under our guest network, I can see the IP that is assigned to us, which is part of the guest network, which is great. And of course, I can go ahead and do a speed test and access other websites. Like if I go ahead and open up Firefox, for example, and try to access some other website here, like let's say cisco.com, then you see that I can access that without any problems. And back on the controller itself, we see that iPad device connected as a guest user and the IP assigned to that device. Now I also have the option of unauthorizing that connection. So for example, if I say that I want to unauthorize it, then I simply go ahead and select that guest user and say unauthorize. And now that guest user will be disconnected and will require it to log back in with the appropriate password. And we are done with this video. And that is how you can set up a guest captive portal page using a simple password.